What could Aramco's increased stake in Formula 1 mean for the future of sport? Let's find out. For months, whispers in the paddock have hinted at a potential game-changing move. Aramco, the Saudi Arabian oil giant, eyeing an increased stake in Formula 1. Aramco, boasting immense revenue surpassing even Walmart, has been making waves in the world of sports investment. Now, their sights seem set on the high-octane world of Formula 1. Aramco's current involvement as the title sponsor of the Aston Martin F1 team speaks volumes. Their logos adorn tracks worldwide, signaling a deepening interest in the pinnacle of motorsport. And with Formula 1 leading the charge in sustainable fuel research, Aramco's alignment with the sport couldn't be timelier. But what's fueling Aramco's interest in Formula 1? Beyond the thrill of racing, it could be part of a broader strategy to bolster Saudi Arabia's global image. With Western media often scrutinizing Saudi investments, sports sponsorship offers a chance to reshape perceptions. The first rumblings of change came in November as Lauren Stroll, owner of the Aston Martin F1 team, sold a minority stake to Arctos Partners. This move hinted at a possible shift in ownership dynamics. With Aramco's ties to the Saudi Public Investment Fund, which seeks strategic acquisitions, the stage was set for a major shakeup. For Stroll, the potential sale presents a lucrative opportunity. Valuing the Aston Martin team at over a billion pounds, a majority stake sale could yield substantial profits. Questions also linger over his son Lance's future in the team, given inconsistent performances. But what could this mean for the Aston Martin team and this star driver? Max Verstappen As talks of a takeover swirl, speculations mount about Verstappen's finding a new home under Aramco's banner. The prospect of fresh investments and big-name signings adds an extra layer of excitement to the F1 landscape. How might Aramco's potential takeover of the Aston Martin F1 team reshape the dynamics of Formula 1? Lauren Stroll and the Aston Martin F1 team find themselves at a critical juncture. With Stroll's son's uncertain future and the tantalizing prospect of a hefty offer from Aramco, the decision to sell up grows more intricate by the day. Aramco's interest in Formula 1, supported by the deep pockets of the Saudi Public Investment Fund, hold the promise of injecting the substantial resources into the team. This infusion of capital could open doors to transformative acquisitions and propel Aston Martin to new heights within the sport. For Lauren Stroll, the choice to relinquish control of the team is laden with both financial considerations and personal implications. With his son's position within the team uncertain due to inconsistent performances, Stroll faces the daunting task of charting a path forward that ensures both financial success and familial harmony. The allure of Aramco's offer looms large, presenting Stroll with the opportunity to secure the future of Aston Martin F1 while potentially reaping significant financial rewards. However, amidst the allure of financial gain, Stroll must carefully weigh the potential consequences of ceding control of a team he has invested in and nurtured. As discussions progress and negotiations unfold, the Formula 1 community watches with bated breath, contemplating the potential ramifications of Aramco's increased involvement in the sport. Will Aston Martin F1 emerge as a powerhouse under Aramco's stewardship, or will Stroll choose to maintain control and steer the team's course independently? Amidst the turmoil, reports suggest that Red Bull's top talents, including Max Verstappen and Adrian Newey, are eyeing a potential move to Aston Martin. With Aramco's deep pockets, the possibility of luring these stars away from Red Bull looms large. Formula 1's budget cap may not hinder Aramco's ambitions, as seen in their lavish spending in other sports like golf. For Verstappen and Newey, Aston Martin represents stability and growth, especially with the team transitioning to a works outfit with Honda engines from 2026 onwards. Amidst Christian Horner's disputes and controversies, a fresh start at Aston Martin could be enticing, offering both financial rewards and a supportive environment. While uncertainties persist, the prospect of Verstappen's departure from Red Bull opens doors to new opportunities, with Mercedes also in the mix, but the competition for Verstappen's signature intensifies. As speculation mounts and decisions loom, the F1 community eagerly awaits the next chapter in this gripping saga. Will Lauren Stroll heed Aramco's call, and will Verstappen find a new home in Aston Martin? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and stay tuned as the drama unfolds on the track. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.